Hey everybody, welcome back to Podcastage. My name is Bandra and I'm back with another microphone test video for you guys. So today I am testing out this guy or this guy. This is the Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500 Dynamic Cardioid Vocal Microphone. That didn't go how I played on. So as you can see, this is an XLR microphone, and right now I'm using an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable to hook it up to my computer, but I will do a test where I use the XLR to USB cable and see if that works a little bit later. And as per usual, if you are interested in this microphone, it'll set you back about 20 bucks, and I'll throw a link in the video description down below. Now let's go ahead and talk about what you get in the box. First, you get an actual plastic storage box, which honestly I think is a little bit overkill. It's unnecessary. I don't think you need anything like that, but it's kind of cool. Then you're gonna get the microphone. You also get this mic clip right here. The mic clip comes with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone stand adapter, and then you get a couple pieces of documentation. So all around the build quality of this thing feels pretty nice. It's an all metal body, a metal grill, and it just has some really nice weight to it. Although I did check it out and it does feel like it's still a little bit lighter than the Shure SM58. And speaking of which, we'll compare these microphones a little bit later. So there are no useful specifications listed. They don't list the frequency response. They only say that it's a cardioid polar pattern. So we'll go ahead and just test these out. So first we'll start with the polar pattern and we'll just go ahead and spin this microphone around and keep talking to see how it picks me up as we speak all the way around it as we go in every single direction and see how it picks up my voice. Okay, and now I am typing on a keyboard as I speak into the microphone to see how much of my voice it picks up versus how much of the keyboard it picks up that is directly behind it. Okay, right now I am about one foot away from the microphone. Now I am about two feet away from the microphone. Now I'm about four or four and a half feet away from the microphone. Okay, now I am talking into the XM8500 and I am using the XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable and I am plugging into one of the older Sabrent USB audio adapters and this is what it sounds like. Okay, now I'm talking into the XM8500 using the XLR to USB cable, and just as I suspected, it is working because this is a dynamic microphone and therefore does not require phantom power or any voltage to work, and this is what it sounds like when I'm using that cable. Now let's go ahead and compare the 8500 to the Shure SM58. Singing songs to see how microphones sound. So when comparing the microphones, the first thing I noticed is the XM8500 is slightly louder than the SM58, or it has a higher output signal. I also noticed that the 8500 has slightly more mid-frequencies than the SM58, which some people might prefer. But with that being said, I think the XM8500 is slightly muddier than the SM58, and also when comparing the acoustic guitar sounds, I think the SM58 sounds slightly more open and slightly more natural. But all around, I think the sounds are are pretty comparable, especially considering that this is a $20 mic compared to the $100 that the SM58 costs. So I think this is a really nice sounding microphone for $20, and the build quality is really nice as well, and it feels like it can take a beating. But if this is still out of your price range, the Pile PD Mic 58 ranges between 11 and 20 bucks. That's another good option. The build quality is slightly uh, worse than this, but it still sounds pretty good. All right, guys, I guess that will do it. If you are interested in this microphone, Phone or the PD Mic 58. I'll throw links in the video description down below. If you have any more questions about this microphone, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you found the video fun, interesting, or helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give me a big old thumbs down. And if you want more, click subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner. And I will see you all later. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.